Hi, I'm Roshan Kanison, and this is Ringgit Bytes. As glove companies enjoyed a price surge last year, two of Malaysia's biggest companies, Top Glove and Supermax, announced a bonus issue. Now, companies in general tell us that this is supposed to reward shareholders, but does it really? Today, we sit down with fund manager Danny Wong, CEO of Erica Capital, to discuss bonus share issuances, whether it adds value, and why companies do this. Bonus issue is a form of reward to shareholders by giving additional share to investors. This additional share do not increase the net asset of the company, but increase the number of shares in circulation. Under the Companies Act 2016, there's no specific provision for bonus issue. Under the Companies Act 2016, the non-par value regime, they only specify what is stock split. Stock split, we usually split the shares into multiple shares. For example, one share into two, so one to two. But in bonus terms, we say one share for two shares that you are holding. So it's one for two. Basically, post-2016, there's no difference between stock split as well as stock bonus. Whether it's stock splits or stock bonus, it increases the number of shares in the company. When a person holds a share, you get more shares, the share price will come down proportionately. Even though the person holds more share, the percentage or weightage to the company remain the same. Therefore, theoretically, there's no additional economic value to the investor after or before stock splits. Simply, the company may feel that the share price is a little bit high. They want to make the share price more affordable. So to the small investors, when you have more shares and share price actually adjusted, you will become more affordable to the investors, more marketable and more liquid conventionally. For example, there's certain stock actually traded at say 20 ringgit and the share floating around is actually quite small. For a small investor to buy into this 20 ringgit share, basically you buy 1,000 shares, you need 20,000. But this person may, could have only 5,000 ringgit. By doing, let's say, split 1 into 10, theoretically you bring down the share from 20 to 2 ringgit. So with the 5,000, you can buy 2.5 lots or 2,005 shares of this counter. Basically, there's no change in business, but you make it more affordable to the small investors. But I think my advice to investors is not to look at share bonus as a main factor buying into a company. You should look into the future of the company in buying a share, not the bonus. Do you have any money or personal finance questions? Well, you can drop them down in the comments below or email us over at ringgit at bfm.my.